Hello my YouTube friends, Lay Boy Scout here, and this is my review of the Kershaw G10 Hawk, possibly the awesomest EDC knife you can get <laughs> as far as uh, real utility and real carryability. It's terrific, man. It really is. I mean, I was not that excited about it, to tell you the truth. Uh, in seeing it in pictures and in videos and whatnot, I didn't really dig it that much. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really turn me on and you know, it seems to fill the exact same role as the Kershaw Chill. So, you know, why get this one when I've already got that one? Uh, I don't know. Well, the reason I got this one in addition to that one is price, man. I got that thing. I picked this thing up for something like, what did I pay? I think it was 11 or $12. It was on clearance at Cabela's at the time. Incredible. For that price, you know, that's one of those knife prices where you say, okay, if it's got a brand name on it, if it looks like it's going to be a little bit sharp, if it's got anything desirable about it, or interesting even, I don't want to say no to it. I can't say no to it. So I didn't, and I got it. And what is interesting about it? Let's, well, let's address that. G10 handle scales. That's good stuff, right? 8CR13 MOV steel. That's good stuff too. Um, I, you know, I dig these, the look of these things here, these little cutouts. And that's cut out not just in the G10 here, but it's also cut out in the liner there, as you can see. And on the other side, it's not cut out in the liner, but, you know, it's cut out in the G10. Very interesting looking, lightens up the knife a little bit, lightens it up to what? About 1.8 ounces. Freaking cool. I'll take that any day. That's a great weight for a knife. Did I mention the price already? Oh, I told you what I paid for it. If you're going to buy this thing, you're going to find it for 19 to 20 dollars. Less if you shop around. Let's talk about something I didn't like about it, and that is the pocket clip. Did not dig that at all. Look at how far up the knife that comes, man. I mean, and how how much of the knife is sticking out down there? Let's let's see how much that is. Almost a full inch of the knife is sticking out of your pocket. Okay, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't do it for me. I didn't like that at all. So, yeah, I took that off quick and <laughs> have not used it. So what do you do, how do you carry it as an alternative? Simple, just drop it in your pocket. This is a drop it in your pocket knife. And for its size, what is the size? Oh, that's the, that was a bad deployment, false deployment, here we go. For its size, it's totally a drop in pocketable knife. What size is it? Let's talk about that. Uh, you're looking at a blade that's in the three inch neighborhood, three and an eighth perhaps, and a handle that's in the three and three quarter neighborhood, maybe three and seven eighths, something like that. Makes it uh, not too long or too big to carry. Let's look at the width here. Again, about three eighths, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I have been carrying it as a drop it in my pocket knife and it feels great in there, you know? It's not obtrusive at all. And uh, another knife that I would classify as a drop it in your pocket knife is the Kershaw OD2. Very small knife, very uh, comparable in size. Well, in width anyway, not in size. But this is definitely a drop it in your pocket knife and this one works just fine in that role as well. No jimping anywhere, not here, not there. Doesn't bother me. Can disengage that lock easily, that liner lock very easily. The centering is darn near perfect. Certainly good enough for me. Again, uh, fast deployment. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, here we go, fast. <laughs> Let's try that again. Fast, authoritative deployment. Once you figure out the technique, and as you can tell, I kind of need help still. Basically, here it is. Get your thumb in about this position. Okay? If you get it right here, or heaven forbid there, it's not going to ever happen. If you get it here, and just give it sort of an up and out, something like that. Yeah, it'll slam out fast either, every time. Every single time. Awesome blade shape, nice little point there. Really sharp, good for piercing. Decent little belly there, but again, little, you know, kind of a swedge back here. Interesting blade shape. Um, 
good hollow grinding there for a good fine edge. Great for utility. Just a thumb stud on this side, so lefties are going to be kind of left out. Well, unless you can, yeah, I think you can actually. It looks like that's a torque screw there, so you could probably undo that if you're handy enough. Undo that and reposition it and then carry it the other way. Of course, if you did that, what would it look like? No, I take it back. You would not be able to put it on there. Not at all, unless you made some serious modifications, grinding that G10 and the liner down uh, to look something like that. Okay, just letting you know that's where you're at. Let's talk again briefly about the blade. I like this blade shape. I, I like it more than I thought I would. It almost looks kind of like a uh, squashed and stretched Bowie uh, shape. So, you know, really kind of classic looking in that sense. And I didn't, I didn't get that at first, but when I've had it in hand for a while and took some time to really connect with this blade, yeah, I started, started to really dig it quite a lot. Mostly a flow through design, meaning you'll probably never have to take it apart, but you could if you needed to with these uh, screws that come out. And this little um, micro back strap here, very minimal back strap, just given the support that it needs to give. Also a little lanyard hole if you need it at all. Uh, that actually might be pretty good on a drop it in your pocket knife like this to have a little lanyard to pull it out for extraction right um what else could i say about this knife i think i might be there i think i might be done it's a terrific little knife and for the price i i couldn't say no to it and i highly recommend it as a light duty everyday carry knife it uh it's it's working great it's <laughs> I can't say enough nice things about it. So there you go, guys. There's my review of the Kershaw G10 Hawk. I do recommend it for the role that you're going to put it into. Again, light duty, everyday carry. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Late Boy Scout, and I'll see you guys later.